Welcome to Electron Line. Just like in the previous video, we're going to start with object right halfway between the lens and the focal point. And now we're going to move the object closer to the lens and see what happens this time. Just like before, when we place object right at the halfway point between the lens and the focal point, the image will form right at the focal point. Notice that the magnification will be twice the object size. In other words, the image will be twice the object size. The fact that we have a negative 20 centimeters for the image distance means that the image is virtual. So now we're going to place the object at the one quarter mark, five centimeters away from the lens when the focal point is a distance of 20 centimeters. And let's see what happens to the image. Again, we find out where the image is graphically by drawing the initial ray in this direction, parallel to the optical axis, then it bends and goes to the focal point on the other side of the lens. The second one, we need to have a dashed line from the focal point to the tip of the object. Then you continue in that direction until you hit the lens, and then the lens will bend the light until it's parallel to the optical axis. The observer on this side of the lens will see the two rays diverging. The brain will say, hey, it looks like the image must be somewhere back here where the two rays will converge. And notice they will converge right here at the halfway point between the lens and the focal point. Well, let's just make sure mathematically here that we're correct with that statement. S prime, the image distance, will be equal to the object distance, which in this case will be 5 centimeters, times the focal length, which is 20 centimeters, divided by 5 minus 20, which is equal to 100, divided by a minus 15, and that would be equal to, hmm, let's see here. I don't think I was correct with my statement, was I? Hmm, I'll adjust that in just a moment. This goes into there about 6.7 times. That would be minus 6.7 centimeters. So instead of at the halfway point, actually, what happens here is that the rays will converge somewhere in this neighborhood at about 6.7 centimeters in front of the lens. So there's the image. S prime will be minus 6.7 centimeters. That's why it's always better to also do it mathematically to make sure that your graphical drawing is correct. And for magnification, magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is a minus times a minus 6.7 divided by a positive 5. And that would be about 1.33, I believe. Yeah, close enough. There we go. So that means that the image is about 33% larger than the object. And finally, what happens now when we bring the object really close to the lens, just a two centimeters away from the lens? Again, we draw the first, the first ray from the top of the object to the lens, then it converges and goes through the focal point on the other side. The second ray is drawn from drawing a dashed line from here to the tip of the lens right here. Not quite straight. There we go. Then it continues till it hits the lens and then it becomes parallel like this. Again, the observer on this side sees the two rays coming here diverging. The brain projects that say, oh, the rays must be coming from back here somewhere. And you can see that the image will form just behind the object. Draw the picture here. There we go. It will be slightly bigger than the object. Again, here we can get the mathematical result by taking the object distance, which is 2 centimeters, times the focal length, 20, divided by 2 minus 20, which is equal to, that would be 40, divided by a, a minus 18, which is equal to about a minus 2 point, goes in 36, 2.2, roughly speaking. All right, so if the object distance is 2 centimeters away from the lens, then the image distance will be 2.2 centimeters away from the lens, just on the, just behind the object distance. So S prime will be a minus 2.2 centimeters. Again, minus means it's from the lens, makes it for a virtual image. The magnification is equal to minus S prime over S, which is a minus times a minus 2.2 divided by 2, which is equal to about 1.1. In other words, at this point, the image size is 10% larger than the object size. 
Now you can see what happens as you bring the object closer and closer and closer to the lens. The image will be still virtual. It'll get closer and closer to the lens as well. It'll stay right behind the object. In the limit, of course, as the object reaches the lens, the image will reach the lens as well. And they'll be virtually the same size at virtually the same distance. And that's how you can see what happens to the image now when you start at the halfway point between the lens and the focal point and you begin to move the object closer, the image moves behind the object, gets closer and closer and closer as well. And that's how that works.